What's up, people? This is your boy Langston John Blues. And um, I want to talk about something while I'm driving. Don't sue me. Um, <laughs> that I think is very important. And it's this whole thing about acting black, acting white, talking white, talking black. I think that what happens is that people get so caught up in people trying to be someone else that they're not that sometimes and sometimes they, they can be right sometimes people do embrace a certain culture that might not be a part or you know be so well known in their culture to em embrace certain habits that the majority of, of black people or the majority of white people I am swaying like a pig right now um, then the majority of white people or black people um, may be a part of for instance a lot of people know that black people like Kool-Aid so you know <laughs> things, you know, just little simple things like that. Um, there's so many different stereotypes out there. If you if you talk really proper, that means you're talking white. If you see a lot of ghetto, or you hang around a lot of ghetto people, that means you're acting black, if you're not black. And I know something that I dealt with a lot in school, you know, people accusing me of not acting black, and saying that I talk white, and this, that, or whatever. And the thing about it is that you... A part of who you are is a part of where you grew up. And with myself, I grew up in a mixed community of people. So there weren't just black people, it wasn't just white people, it was everybody. In my first year of school in kindergarten, I was the only African American kid in my class. Not only African American boy, but I was the only African American kid. And growing up, you know, around people that were majority either of another race or white, you know, I don't know, maybe maybe there was something there that could have, you know, triggered who I am. And I don't think that always has to do with something external. Sometimes it has to do with your family. And I come from people that are from, you know, the South, but also know how to have fun, but know when to turn, you know, things on and off and know, you know, how to talk when you're, you know, applying for an interview or when you're, you know, trying to impress someone that... Um, could get you to another, you know, place in your life. So I think all those things kind of have to dictate, you know, how you come across to people. Not just I'm acting black or I'm acting white or, you know, there are people that, especially white people that grew up in predominantly black communities. And because they act a certain way, people will say that they're acting black. And it's not about acting black, it's about adapting to your environment and being a part of that environment, not even adapting because when, you, when you're adapting to an environment you're getting used to it because you never have before. But when you're a part of something you're being molded into that and that kind of determines how you come out as a person. So I don't believe in the phrase he's acting black, she's acting white, you know this, that or whatever. It's just about you know how you grew up as a person. It doesn't have anything to do with trying to be someone you're not all the time. There are some people that do do that, and yeah, that can be a negative thing, but it's not always about acting, you know, or, 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 or doing something or trying to be someone that you're not. And I know it's not for me, so haters, sit your ass down. Down. <laughs> but that's just how I feel about it, and I want to know what you guys feel about that. So hit me up. What do you guys feel about when people say you're acting black? or you're acting white, or you're talking black, or you're talking white. Alright, peace. This is your boy Langston John Blaze.